charges in the investigation headed by Robert Mueller. Joining me now, Jonathan Alter, MSNBC political analyst, and Lauren Zelt, Republican strategist. Lauren was Senator Kelly Ayotte's deputy communications director. And welcome to you both. Uh, Jonathan, to you first. What are you hearing about all this and how big a deal might this be? Well, it's a very big deal because uh, what it indicates is that when Donald Trump says this is all a hoax, it's all fake news, you now have the person with the most integrity, the public figure with the greatest amount of integrity, the greatest stature, bipartisan stature in the whole country, Robert Mueller, who is going to bring indictments on Monday. It doesn't really matter so much who gets indicted. Nobody can remember who the first person indicted in Watergate was. There are many strands to this investigation. What's important is that it's on. This has begun, and this idea that you're seeing on Fox all the time that this is much ado about nothing is no longer going to be true on Monday. So, Lauren, what happens now to the president's claims that there's nothing to this? Well, you know, I disagree with Jonathan a little bit. Um, I do think it matters um, who these charges are brought against. You know, obviously, because it's a sealed um, indictment, we don't yet know um, who is going to be implicated in this. We don't know what the charges are. Um, so I, I actually disagree. I do think it's important that we figure out, you know, exactly who uh, these charges are going to be brought against, what they're going to be, you know, what they're going to be charged with. And what role, if any, um, you know, the president had. I, I happen to think that if, if the president had any idea um, about anything regarding, you know, any, anything with Russia and his campaign, I think we would know already. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree that, you know, it, it doesn't matter who these charges are brought against and what they are. I think there's a lot of speculation out there right now. I think we need to make sure that we understand the facts take it slowly and go from there. And I also do think, though, that it's good that we're having this conversation. We do need to get a handle on any sort of, you know, foreign influence, um, you know, in our election process. Mm -hmm. You know, the Washington Post reported earlier this week, we know the Democrats were dishonest um, regarding their role in the fusion uh, GPS uh, uh, situation and what ultimately resulted in the dossier that we've all been talking about this week. I do think we need to have a broader conversation about any sort of foreign entity um, having to do with anything um, in elections in our country. And I think everyone agrees on that. But Jonathan, if we learned the person indicted last night was a big player in the Trump campaign, what happens then? Well, um, you know, this can go in so many different directions. Uh, this, this could turn into a money laundering case, a collusion case. There could be unrelated uh, business interests that are drawn into this, which happens often in an investigation. It's not likely to be the end of it. Because these indictments are coming fairly early in this process, it's, it, it could be that they want to put pressure on, on the person or persons indicted for a, a plea deal, go after the higher-ups, get some people to drop a dime on uh, some other folks. So we don't really know, and, and a lot of speculation at this point uh, doesn't do very much good. But I, 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 was, I was interested, you know, to, to hear that suddenly I mean, we see that we've seen this all week on Fox. So there's kind of even Stevenism, like Hillary Clinton's campaign was doing just as bad things. Now, it's true that it's not good that they didn't disclose uh, properly as they should have uh, that this money was going for oppo research, perfectly legitimate oppo research, by the way. Nothing wrong with uh, with contracting for that dossier. Mm -hmm. Should it have been disclosed? Absolutely. But that's that's a, a pimple compared to what's, uh, what's uh, potentially going on on the Trump side. So there are many, many strands uh, to this investigation, and, and it's basically going to be the opening bell on Monday. When do you expect we're going to hear from the president, Lauren? Well, you know, I think we'll, you know, we'll, we'll wait to see. Um, you know, he he uh, likes to go directly to the people on Twitter. I think I think we're all aware of that. We, you know, it's possible that we could hear from him over the weekend. Um, I think that he would be better served um, by, you know, waiting to see just exactly what. Um, this indictment is, who the, you know, charges are brought against and what they are. Um, you know, I, I have a suspicion it'll come up in the White House, you know, press briefing on Monday, um, you know, maybe at the latest. But, you know, I think we'll wait and see. But I just think it's really important to not get ahead of ourselves here and just wait and see exactly what charges are going to be brought on Monday. I think your suspicions are 100 percent right on <laughs> regarding that press briefing. <laughs> Lauren Zelt yeah. and Jonathan Alter. Guys, thank you so That's much. Alex. Thank you. Well, the most chilling aspect of the JFK files released.